Kyla, nice to meet you. You, 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 you look stunning. Thank you very much. All right, so how excited are you about today? Pumped. Are you going to... All right, so are you going to do anything fun today for the premiere show? Because this is big. Are you ready for your life to change? So many questions, so little time. So little time. So little sleep I've had in the last couple of weeks. Um, so I'm looking no sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going, looking forward to going to bed. Um, but yeah, it would just be nice to hang out with my cast and get a drink and get some food. What was one thing that you learned from playing the young Queen Charlotte? I learned that beauty is not um, one it's, it's, it's not a monolithic word it's so multifaceted it's not physical based at all it's so skin deep um, and I've, I've, I've always thought that but this show in general showed the humanity in so many different types of people and um, yeah really really brought to light what beauty means for you and beautiful you are congratulations I hope you do something to celebrate oh, I do as well Thank you so much, Angie. Take care. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hello, yes, Queen. I love that. How are I you? Love, I'm very good. Nice very to meet you. Very good. You too. Nice to meet you too. All right. So, what is the funnest part about getting ready to play Queen Charlotte? The funnest part. Um, <laughs> that's a really interesting question. All of it. There are. Yeah. I mean, it takes me two and a half hours to get that character oh, wow. together it's yeah cool. yeah so I mean it's a long time right <laughs> so there's there's fun there's some kind of adjusting there's there's a car that drives me to set because I can't get ready in my trailer because the costumes and the wig are too big so I have like a tent by set um, that I have to get ready in do you know what I mean sometimes I have to sit on the floor of said truck or van because the wig is too high do you know what I mean we laugh in those moments do you know what I mean yeah yeah I mean yeah but um, yeah it's it's a journey definitely you're killing the journey so happy to see the journey just like develop thank you, know? you so much yeah I think that's that's the one thing that the the fans always talk about definitely from Bridgerton is the intimate scenes with George you know so now to be able to kind of kind of really show that and uh, really show how Charlotte became Charlotte you know, uh, through the kind of more intimate journey and the more human journey um, of Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. It's amazing. Thank, Thank you so you much. Mean. You too, you too, you too. Right, so the question I have to ask you, what inspired you to play this role? Oh, um, I mean, I don't know if I was inspired rather than knowing that this role was out there for a girl like me was inspiration enough. You know, I think I was so scared about becoming an actor because I was like, well, I can audition and no one will actually want a black girl. They'll yeah. say, you know, it's open casting, you know, colorblind, but really, yeah, really they know who they exactly. And so to then be able to read a breakdown of this woman yeah. and say, I know her, you know, I she's my mom. She's my grandmother. She's my aunt. She's my sister. That was inspiration. So then it was like, God, I fucking hope I get this job, <laughs> you know, and like hope that I can then inspire other young girls because got the damage that like only seeing, you know, people that didn't look like me on TV yeah. did to me was I'm still trying to unwork that and unlearn that. Yeah. Well, I'm inspired by you, and I know so many people are inspired. I'm watching with my nieces. I love the show. So you're killing it, and I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Likewise, and like thank and this you is for taking the time. Thank you. This <laughs> outfit is killer. First audition for the role. Like, did you have to prepare for the role? And if so, what did you do? Wow. Um, I guess actually something that's pretty interesting is that uh, so once I so we did a first round audition where I used uh, a scene from Bridgerton season one. But uh, but yeah 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 exactly. But then but then once once I got the scenes from the first episode, we did the scene where Jordan and Charlotte first meet, and then the scene right at the end of episode one where there's a bit of conflict. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't know anything about Bridgerton or about the history. So my understanding, you know, I re often when you when you're an actor and you audition and you get these first first scenes, you just have to come up with your own story. You have no idea. There's no context, so you just come up with your own story. And what I thought, what I believed to be true, was that uh, George must have been gay. 
um, <laughs> because I was like, okay, so he, he, he puts on a really good front and then suddenly he's dealing with something that needs, that he can't be intimate with her, he can't, he can't seal the deal and he can't consummate the marriage, so what must that be? And I thought, okay, so this must be the, so that's how I, that's what I did when I went into the room and I did this chemistry test with India. Um, so that's that's where I my feel like it went great yeah. because the chemistry is there. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, well, that's that's more to this woman than than it than it is to me. Um, but yeah, no, we had a we had a wonderful wonderful time and we are yeah very good mates now. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I have one question. Nice to meet you. Okay, it was so nice to meet you. Oh, thank you so much. That's Bye. So kind. Bye.